and tonight's video is going to be um, we're going to start on Tyler's stockings and they are done with applique with the embroidery machine so I'm going to show you how I'm doing those so what I've done um, this is the piece that I quilted and I have gone ahead and I've cut it in half because I'm not cutting out the stockings before I do the applique because when you're doing this with the embroidery machine you have to have enough fabric to hoop and so what I've done is I just um, laid the stocking patterns down drew around them and then hooped it and I've done one embroidery here this one's Tyler's and so I have the other stocking here I'll turn it around um, and can you see where I've drawn mm -hmm. around it? Okay, so I drew around the stocking. Um, since I am doing this with the embroidery machine and it's a pretty heavy satin stitch, I am using stabilizer. So I'm going to stabilize it when I hoop it. And I have marked where I want the design to go, the center of the design. And I'm going to show you kind of this little trick because um, I was going to try to print off templates out of the software for the designs and then I could cut out that template and kind of play with that but our printer here at home is out of ink and so it wouldn't print so what I did is I took this piece of paper the designs are six and a half by four and a quarter both of them and so I just took me a piece of paper and I cut it to that size so it's six and a half by four and a quarter and then I found the center of that and then I cut that open and then I just laid that kind of figured out where on the stocking I wanted it to be I'm allowing for the cuff that's going to be up here and then I'm going to embroider their names kind of right here instead of on the cuff on this one and so I just laid the paper down where I wanted it and then marked my center here and then just extended those lines out here and then connected those marks. So I just kind of used my paper, piece of paper, as my template to get it positioned, kind of, what's the word, um, audition where I want the design to be. Make sure I'm getting it centered and where I want it. So now what I'll do is I'll just lay my inner hoop with the template and I still have the um, tape on my plastic template here from the quilting. I'm just going to leave it on there. But now I'm just going to use that template and get the design centered. Now I've got to hoop it sideways though. Um, it's going to be hooped like this because the design actually stitches off sideways. So I'm going to hoop it like this and get those lines centered on my fabric and then I will hoop this up and then we'll go over to the machine and show you how to do applique with the embroidery machine. Okay, so when you bring up your embroidery design that's made to do with applique, it's going to have different steps. I like to forward through all the steps to kind of get a game plan on how everything's going to stitch off. So on this design, it's the little camper. It's going to stitch the little um, hitch first, and I've already done that. And so the next design, our next color, our next stitch out is going to be a placement line for the top of the camper. Then it's going to have a tack down for that piece and that's where we cut it. Then it's going to do the bottom placement line for the bottom part of the camper, the tack down. Then it's going to the door and that's the placement line for the door, the tack down. And then it's going to come back and start doing all of the embroidery stitches or the um, um, cover stitches. And so it's going to do the satin stitch on the top part of the camper, then the bottom part of the camper, then the middle seam, I guess, of the camper, and then the door. So each applique piece I'm going to have a um, top of the camper, the bottom, and the door. Those are my three applique pieces. And then everything else is going to be done with embroidery with thread. So I'm going to go back to stitch number two because I've already done the 
little hitch and I did that in gray and I'm just keeping the gray color on my machine while it's doing all of the placement lines and the tack downs um, so it's going to stitch the placement line for the top part of the camper first all of the quilting going on but once I lay the fabric down you'll be able to see the tack down so what that does it's that is just showing me where I need to lay my piece of fabric so that's why they call it the placement line now I'm just gonna take my piece of fabric you zoomed in good I'm just gonna lay it over that placement line just making sure that I am covering it up completely and hopefully I'm going halfway straight I'm using stripes, so hopefully I'm pretty straight. That looks pretty straight. Okay, so the, the piece is kind of oversized so that it will cover up that whole placement line. Now it's going to stitch the tack down, and that just goes right on top of that placement line and stitches on top of the fabric, and that's going to hold that piece of fabric down. And some people you can um, like spray the back of your fabric with 505 spray, but uh, most of the time I just kind of lay it down there and then just kind of pet your fabric to make sure it stays in place. And it's going around it twice on this one um, just so that when you're cutting it's a little bit more stable. Okay, now what comes up on your machine is going to be the placement line for the next applique piece, but you do not want to stitch that out because what you need to do now is trim this fabric. So you take, and it's easier if you take the hoop off, be careful when you are taking your hoop off, um, you don't want to move that bracket on that arm. So you can even like put your hand on the arm and take your hoop off, um, but just don't move that. Okay, so now we're just going to start cutting this um, fabric. And so what I do is I just kind of pull up on the fabric. You take your little curved embroidery scissors and just kind of butt that blade up against the stitches and trim. This particular pattern and like the truck, um, the cover stitch, whoops, I put that off. I'm going to pull this out and come down here. Okay, come down here. Um, the cover stitches are a good wide satin stitch, so you don't have to, you know, get real close, but you want to get as close as you can. Keep cutting all that away. Okay. Then, put your foot back on. Now we have to put the hoop back on. Make sure, since I have all this bulk here, make sure I don't get any of it tucked up under the hoop. And now it's going to stitch the placement line for the bottom part of the camper. That's out of the way. Again, it's oversized. Make sure it covers all of it. And then now it's going to stitch the tack down. And so I just kind of stroke it. To 
to make sure it's staying laying down. done doing this I'll just take it off the machine okay. and so now I'll trim this one down and then next it's going to do the door and then I'll, I'll finish those and then I'll come back and just show you kind of what it looks like when it starts doing the cover stitch or the satin stitch on top of it so we'll come back after I trim all this and do the door stitch so it did this part right here it's already done the base stitches like it's doing now and then it came in and did the satin stitch and now it's doing the base stitches for that part and it'll come back and start filling in with the satin stitch now sometimes you know they don't always do a satin stitch with the embroidery and um, sometimes they'll do little decorative stitches things like that so sometimes the cover stitches are just a little bit different um, that's it. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna keep stitching this off. Um, all of it's now is just embroidery. Just thread it up with the um, color that I want it to do. And then when it's done, I'll show you kind of um, what it looks like when it's done and how I'm gonna cut the stockings out. So we'll be back. Okay, I finished doing the embroidery and I put a little Christmas tree in the window of the camper. And then I got ahead of myself. Um, I laid the back piece underneath and put them wrong sides together and I cut out this one and I remembered I still have to embroider their name on here. So I'm not going to cut this one out. Um, I'm going to embroider Anisha's name on this one and then I'll just use sticky paper or something to do Tyler's name on this one. Um, but I'm cutting. I want to cut the back piece at the same time that I cut out the front piece so they'll match up with each other and then when I go to cut the lining piece I'll just use one of these and cut the lining fabrics. I'm using these as my pattern. Um, so that's all for tonight. And the next video, I'm going to put piping around Bailey and Carter's. I'm not sure if I'm going to do piping around these or not. I have to decide that. But the next video, I'm going to show you how to make your own piping and sew it in. Thanks.